Hey friends, how's it going? So I just wanted to stop by um, with this little piece of ephemera I made. I thought it would be cool to share with y'all. I'm trying to work on this fairy journal. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is the most stressful thing. <laughs> and you know what? I wanted to tell you guys this too. That is why I have had to say no to all of the people asking me for a custom order. I cannot be more flattered right now with all the requests I've had, especially there's somebody really special that asked me to make um, a couple of journals for her, and I even had to tell her I can't right now, and my heart is like broken to a million pieces about it. Um, but just so, I'm trying not to be too chatty because I only have a few minutes, but I, I just want to explain that it's not that because uh, because it's stressful that I can't. It's just that I don't have the time. Um, we are getting ready to sell our house, and I know a couple of new people that have joined to ask me about a journal. So um, if you've been here a while, you probably heard me yap about us selling our house. But um, we've had to had have um, you know the handyman that we hire come around and fix up some things. Um, and we're just trying to make it look nice uh, to get ready to be looked at, you know. We're going to have put it up on the market and people are going to be coming to look. And so, of course, we have a lot of work to do because <laughs> we've lived here for, you know, over 10 years now. So, yeah, we bought it 10 years ago. Yeah. So, 2010, we bought our house. So, we are ready for our forever home. And it's just, if you've ever sold a house and then bought a new house and then oh my god it's so stressful so and usually I get my work done at night and um you know when the kids are in bed and of course as soon as we get back from vacation my son Israel is getting his teeth in and um oh my god he's been up every single night and then he is in a room with my three-year-old now um and so until we move, and so, um, yeah, they share a room, and it's, you know, then my three-year-old gets up, so I've been up, running on no sleep. Anyways, I'm yapping, um, so I'm lucky if I get to work on this a tiny bit every day. It's probably going to take me till school starts uh, to finish it, but anyways, I'm sorry I yapped so much. I think I needed to vent for two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Welcome. If you're new here, hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's quite, I should have probably had a former introdu introduction, right? <laughs> um, anyways, it's so nice to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. I made this, um, I, I called it like a specimen card at first, but I don't think that's correct. <laughs> so I'm just calling it my identification check fairy card card thing. I'm going to think of a name before I post the video, don't worry. But anyways, I don't know what to call it at the moment. I'm on the spot. But um, basically, it's like uh, my little card that I'm putting in the journal that is um, evidence of a real fairy. <laughs> so I painted it, and I used my favorite paints. With, well, my favorite paints. I have a thousand favorite paints. Where are they? The, um, they're the shifting paints. I can't even think of the name. Now I have to grab it because I'm curious. I can't believe this. <laughs> I am so crazy right now. Uh, color shift. Okay. Color shift paints. Whoa, sorry. So I used, um, three colors of the color shift paints and I did not use any purple. I actually mixed, I used the blue shade, um, the light green and then the dark, the regular green. And then um, the new raspberry shade that I got, I mixed that with the blue and got the most glorious purple ever. And there is a purple shade, but I like this purple better. So anyways, I just used my brush and dabbed it on. Um, I was dipping the same brush into the paints and doing it in layers. Um, hopefully you can see the beautiful shimmeriness of it all. And then I used my Tim Holtz stamps. The... Um, field note stamps here. I love these. They're so awesome. Um, yep, so it just says enclosed, filed, and then this is the case number. So if you can see the picture, this is actually, it looks like an actual picture, a shiny real picture. Um, it's from a book, and I can't think of the name 
I have to find it and I'm going to link it below in case you're interested in it. It's pretty cute. Um, they're actual pictures. It's just like kind of what I made here, like uh, evidence of real fairies. The author took these beautiful photos with these models dressed as fairies and then she made a book about it and I just used that. So um, if you can see the fairy, I'm trying to hold it close and I don't know if you can see because I'm having a hard time looking in the screen here. Um, but anyways, there's a little fairy right here behind the trees or peeking out and she is so cool looking in real life. It's kind of hard to see right now, but um, she's peeking out. So I took my white Stabilo pencil and you, I don't know if it's picking up on, on the camera, but I circled her a few times as if, you know, I found, I found the photo, or excuse me, as if I found photographed her and then I was circling her for somebody to see you know so I just did it lightly a few times and then I have this card here you know with the opening and I used oh what is that <laughs> um, I used I want to show you guys because it's a really good product um, of course you can just buy regular acetate but I got a good deal on this heat resistant acetate I just used this but this is really good stuff um, kind of a side note if you want to do embossing on it you can actually um, run it you know put a stencil on it and you can put embossing powder on it and you can heat emboss it and it won't melt so it's heat resistant and it actually works it's really cool <laughs> um, you can use it as an in an embossing uh, like you can emboss it with an embossing folder and it doesn't move around um, it's just really cool but anyways I just cut a piece off and used it for regular it makes a perfect window and then I had picked these up at Michael's the other day and I just love them I have quite like the extensive <laughs> collection now in the last couple of months but I already had these ones they're pretty um, and then I picked up these two so these are like little blue balls. They're so pretty. I wanted to use these, but this is already thick. It, it looked cool inside, but it made it too thick. So these are nice and flat little holographic, um, yeah, things. So <laughs> they're pretty cool. Um, pastel colors. So I just put a tiny bit in there. And then these flowers are from our new, the new book I showed in one of my, give, my giveaways. Oh gosh, girl, get it together. One of my hauls. I don't know if I put the video out just yet, but I will. Um, it's called Minte Papers Flora Book 2, and um, it's sold. I purchased it from, they're all die cuts that you can cut out yourself. You can fussy cut these out, and they're beautiful. And I purchased mine from May May, uh, May, May Made It. Um, her craft store. Okay, so get to it. So this is a has a magnetic closure and I used my new magnets. I want to show you those too because they're awesome. They're so thin and they're strong. So these are just magnetic discs and I, they're really, really thin because the ones I had were too thick. And I purchased those from ASC Supplies. And they were on sale when I did. I don't know if they're still on sale. Okay. Um, I like to tell all the stuff I, I used. I put book number 710 down here, identification check, and then figure number one. And then it opens up with a magnetic closure. And then on the inside, this is just some, like, scrap papers, really, um, with some writing on it, some script. Um, this actually, uh, this was a print, um, I keep saying um because I can't think today, vintage letters or something like that from Etsy and um, so this is her name and I stamped her number that I stamped on the front again and then another stamp um, this is her name Willow and then common name Willow the Silver Leaf Fairy other name Fairy of the Silent Forest the sighting date um, sighting location in Albany Georgia the peak sighting season is mid-February. History is Willow regarded as a classic tree fairy. Earliest recorded sightings date back to A.D. 800. Florida Seminoles call her tree shadow and associate her with mangroves and willow trees. Farther north, the Cherokee call her silver ghost, as she is usually sing seen among the silver birch trees. Bound, um, if you can lure her by bounding sage on a bed of silver birch bark in the shadow of the tallest tree. Isn't that cool? Anyways, and then, so these were just, like, the, these trees were what I cut off 
of the picture because it is a bigger bigger book. The pictures are rather large. So I just cut, you know, this was the rest of the photo and um, of the beautiful silver birch trees. So I cut those off and put those right there. Did some black stabilo around it. We used our handmade tape here. I used my handmade tape that um, I learned from Nick the Booksmith. And then I used some of my rice paper that I, I did my print of the newspaper on um, that I the video I just put out so I put that there I think it came up really pretty so she can journal here journal here or excuse me journal here journal here she can journal on top of this if she wants write a little note over here and then on this side um, more stuff taken out of a book <laughs> this is from the flower fairies book um, and it's just so useful. I cut out a bunch of stuff from that book um, for ephemera. Um, it just tells you the equipment needed to find a fairy. Binoculars, butterfly net, magnifying glass, a jam jar, a selection of mirrors, a comfortable chair, and refreshments. Huh. <laughs> and then that flips up and she can do some journaling on this coffee dyed paper. I just did some random little stamps around here, nothing significant. Uh, some more tape and then this says the best time to see a fairy uh, are at twilight, midnight, just before sunrise, mid and midday. Once a fairy has been spotted, be sure to keep your eyes fixed upon it. The fairy will only be seen for as long as one looks at it unwaveringly. And then, of course, that flips down like that, and then she can journal there again. So, that's what it looks like. Isn't that cute? little flips and flaps. I want this to be really flippy flappity. And then here's the back cover. I painted that as well. I'm trying to get the shimmer um, with those beautiful paints and that beautiful purple color I made mixed in those two pretty colors. And then this is another picture from that book. This is the Swamp Fairy and I actually had cut her out because she was on the back of a picture that I was using or something like that and um, I almost threw her away and then I saw just this piece that was cut out and I was like, oh, I can use that. So I tried to make it a little messy with the gold and black around her. I just kind of took a marker and ch -ch -ch. <laughs> so it wasn't trying to be perfect. Um, and I tore her out so it kind of was distressed on the edges. And look what came in the mail, you guys. Side note. Yay, I got a distresser. Distresser? I got a distresser. <laughs> I got a distresser from Tim Holt. So thank you to whoever told me. Now I can't remember, but I appreciate it because I had purchased the perforator, <laughs> hello, by accident because I thought it was this, but uh, Amazon. Yes, Amazon. And, and they brought it within two days. So yippee. I've been using it like crazy on my edges and it works out nicely. So, um, and then I have Into the Darkness, an Unfamiliar Silent Place, a Wonderful Creature. And those were just plucked out of the Tim Holtz book, Ideology book. I think this is the new 2021. So I just sat here for like 10 minutes looking around trying to make a, a sentence that made sense. <laughs> or mostly. <laughs> so anyway, so that is my little um, fairy identification book. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I think that's it. I was going to show you something else but I think I'm going to keep it short today it's really hard for me I, <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by and dealing with my all over the place craziness as I am stressed but this really does ease it up a little bit <laughs> just spending time with you guys and um, I hope you like this and I hope you make something like this if you do um, I'd love to see it so uh, I am on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. I don't go on there much, but I've been going on Instagram a little more. I'm not much of a Facebook person. I like to post pictures of my kids, and that's about it, really, or my family. But I like I like going on Instagram sometimes because I like to spy on my, my boys. <laughs> Anyways, I could talk all day. Um, have a great day. If you like this, think about subscribing because guess what? Uh, we're... As I'm making this video, we're like two away from 400. So that means we're about to have a giveaway. And I can't even believe how many people have subscribed in the last three days. So thank you so much. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's from Jessica from I'm a Cool Mom. So I appreciate you, Jessica, for sharing my um, channel very, very much. I mean, that that's amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, 
but just thank you. And um, if you're here on your own or from her, it doesn't matter. I appreciate you no matter what, and thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>